Well, fucking hell, Yandere Dev, you actually did it. You finally released Osana for everyone. I, for one, never thought you were going to finish her. <laughs> Anyway, hey guys, it's Flower Gothic. Welcome to my office, which is just a desk and my computer and my printer, but I just finished the video, Osana is Complete and Yandere Simulator's official demo is now available. I was originally going to react to this while watching it, but I found myself repeating the exact same points again and again and again. So I decided to instead watch it the whole way through and then at the end, give my thoughts on the matter. So, so one thing that stood out to me Yandere dev wise is that he said that the gameplay mechanics are complete yet says that he still only has placeholder graphics, which is kind of ironic and it's like, do you really think that graphic design is not an aspect of game development? Because it is! You need aesthetic production values in your work as well as your technical ones. Another thing in the video he said that I should also bring up is, hmm, oh yeah, that if the Kickstarter campaign or whatever crowdfunding site he uses, Indiegogo, GoFundMe, <laughs> he would hire a full-time programmer to re refactor the code and do all the coding from then on. Now, I found this rather ironic as well, because remember the whole tiny build incident where he got a coder and the coder wanted to refactor the code in a way that would delay his development of the game. So he threw a hissy fit and just left that um, agreement with Tiny Build. I still think it's a red flag for Yandere Dev to enlist unpaid volunteers for a for-profit project. I mean, I get that it's not, you don't have to pay for it yet, but as I've said in my Yandere Simulator 3 video, that's the equivalent of working for exposure in the gaming industry. Another thing that stood out to me was how Yandere Dev said it took him like, what, six months in total to program Osana? When Kokona, Kokona Haruka, was coded in less time than that because she was the test rival Though she should have been the tutorial rival to begin with, you already had her whole backstory and everything, and she's just a test rival. She was going to be the one in the crowd... The test rival's going to be the person in the crowdfunding demo, so her secrets would have been revealed regardless. I don't get why you're so protective over your tutorial rival, because everyone's going to know the canon behind her by the time the demo comes out. There isn't much I really have to say about Osana, the Osana video, other than congratulations Yandere Dev, you finally did it. I noticed also that your frame rate for the game is still peanuts, but hey, maybe if you had your code refactored in the first place, it would have been a lot easier for you. Flower Gothic out. Bye-bye.